never mind the tow ratings and stays. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLS hits the road with sport wagon finesse with its poised ride and its tire punishing weight. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLS might be dismissed as just another big SUV may we show you something in a GLS 63. Then, it's at times an astonishing reminder that utility vehicles don't have to have upward rides and dingy acceleration counts at the extra points it earns for its powertrain, ride, and off-road ability, and we come to eight the GLS draws on three different powertrains. The GLS 450 gets a 362 horsepower, twin turbo V6 and a 9-speed automatic GLS 550 sport a 449 horsepower twin turbo 4.7 liter V8 and the same 9-speed automatic at the top of the range. The twin turbo 5.5 liter V8 in the GLS 63 AMG pumps out 577 HP to cope with all that power. It shifts gears via a BVR 7-speed automatic in all. The turbo twist doesn't begin right at idle, so turbo lag is evident the 9-speed models also have a few ratios to down shift through at times, which can make the powertrain feel busy on freeway entrance ramps and steep corner climbs. All versions of the 2018 GLS have standard all-wheel drive A setup drive modes tailors other traction systems to bow to prevailing conditions, while reprogramming the GLS adaptive suspension, steering, and drivetrain select comfort and all the vehicle's reactions relax. Select off-road plus and the air springs rise to grant a total of 8.5 inches of ground clearance in sport mode. The steering weights up and shifts come more quickly, which gives the GLS a hopeful hint of nimbleness in traffic. Select slippery mode and the GLS clamps down on wheel spin and shifts into higher gears to keep as much traction on tap as is possible while it can drive like a smaller SUV. The GLS is immense the steering feel on versions with the standard wheels isn't too loose or light, but it's not overly graced with feedback, either the variable ratio rack provides different response at low speeds than it does at higher ones the smooth ride the GLS generates from its standard air suspension is creamy under most circumstances. There's an optional active curve system that presses down on its anti-sway bars to contract body lean, but in doing so it removes a layer of natural information that disguises the GLS speed through sweeping corners. We prefer the regular setup. We also prefer the standard wheel and tire combination at 19 inches rather than the larger options with lower profile tires, which seem to add some jiggle to the ride.